Hi, this is John again with Schubert Technologies, and I just wanted to follow up from my last video to show what I had to do to reset the router in my new KB Homes house. So KB Homes comes with sun power, and whenever you change your Wi-Fi to a new router, of course, the credentials are going to change. You can create a new router config where it matches the old one, you know, the same name, same password and whatnot. And that theoretically would work. But in this case, I wanted a new router. I wanted new passwords because the old router came with really long numbers for the uh, password, which was a nightmare. I hated it, but you know, I may do because I knew it was just temporary. So once I put in the new router, of course, the, thermostat I had to change the password there to change it for all the ring cameras um Xbox the Apple uh products you know the Apple TV whatnot anyway so the one thing that was a little more difficult for me to change um was the solar Wi-Fi password so if you have a KB home with uh send power for your solar you're gonna see this middle box out in your garage and on that sticker, which in this picture is not readable, is going to be this serial numbers or one exceptionally similar to it. Um, so there is a cover that comes off. Um, so this outside cover has a little tab at the bottom. Uh, right here, you just put a little flat blade screwdriver and it pops from the bottom up. And then you have access to this serial number. Now on the inside here, there are some RJ45 plugs. So you could theoretically skip some of what I'm about to show you and just direct connect, but it just seems like more of a hassle than it's worth because all you need is this number. So what I did was I used my cell phone camera and I took a picture of this serial number. And what that serial number does for you is it tells you the name of the network for your solar system. So in all likelihood, your neighbors are gonna also have sun power. So you may see, um, other sun power numbers here so it's important to identify uh, your own and then go configure it so the first thing is you're going to go out to your circuit breaker box and if you look at the video that i made before and i'll make a, i'll have a link to it at the very end um at the very top of your box should be uh, two sets of circuit breakers and one is to the solar system itself and i believe the other one is to the controller i threw the breaker for both I waited two minutes per the sun power um, instructions. So turned it off. I set a timer for two minutes. As soon as it was done, I threw the breakers back on. And so what that does is if your network's been up, the configuration set for the Wi-Fi, it will stop transmitting its own uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. So what you're doing is you're putting it back into a configuration mode for four hours. So you have four hours to do this next step. Otherwise, just go out and power cycle your, your panels again. So looking at your, your serial number here, you can see these first four numbers and you can see these last four numbers. So you're gonna use the uh, sun power and then it's gonna use characters digits five and six. So zero five, and then the last three, so 185. So if this was the serial number for my box. Whenever I go to join a Wi-Fi network, I would see Sun Power 05185. And I would know that that's mine and not my neighbors. So 05185. Um, so once you see that, you just go to your Wi-Fi and hit join network. Now, if I have a Mac, so I just go up, I click on the Wi-Fi symbol, and then I type in um, the password, and I'm good. Um, with a PC, you may be a little bit more involved. But whenever you get to the point where it challenges you to give it a password, that's also from your serial number. So the first four digits are going to be these. So just skip these first two letters. Just ignore them. You don't use them in any case. So it would be 1905. 6185 and then as soon as you hit enter it'll take you know normal about 15 or 30 seconds and then absolutely nothing happens so at that point what you want to do is you want to power up your um uh what you call it your uh, browser uh here they say it's windows 7 or apple you can use chrome firefox or safari 
I used Safari. You just type in this sunpowerconsole.com. Now, the other device, the other document, I mean, that I saw said www.sunpower or yeah, sunpowerconsole.com. So if you use one and it doesn't work, try the other. So www, I did not type in HTTP. Most browsers will stick that in there anyway. What happens whenever you type this in is you'll get from this box out in your garage a web page and it'll say is this residential or is this commercial so in my case it's residential you click the residential and then a page will come up where it'll show the different types of connections so you can do wi-fi you have this direct connect um, underneath this tag which makes it kind of hard to see uh, which is hardwired some people have their uh, units hardwired I, I don't see why you would do that, but maybe if this unit is too far away for Wi-Fi coverage and you don't want to put an access point to extend it, maybe in that case. But anyway, uh, but the odds are if you're hardwired, you're not watching this video anyway. Um, so you could direct connect in. But anyway, on that that web page that came up from this SunPower console, um, you'll see an entry for hardwired. You know, it'll say, it'll say not connected. You'll see Wi-Fi. Um, and then if you, it's been previously configured, you'll see there's information there. And then there's like a little pencil symbol. Um, just click the pencil symbol and then, um, you'll be able to configure your new Wi-Fi password. So put in the SSID, which is, you know, the advertised name, uh, assuming you're broadcasting it and then the password, and then just hit configure and you're done. And at that point, your sun power will start reporting. You know, your sun power still creates solar, but if you use the monitoring service to see, um, you know, what your usage is. So when you change your Wi-Fi router, what will happen is it'll just stop reporting. You'll still create solar. So for example, last week, um, I disconnected my router on Christmas. So we should theoretically see for the week on the 25th, uh, nothing, but once I reconnected Wi-Fi, then it looks like it had cached all of my information and then just uploaded it whenever I was reconnected. So before doing that, this was blank. And I think I actually did it on like Christmas Eve. So I think the 24th was blank too, but no, actually it was Christmas the 25th. So anyway, once you reconfigure that, then you're back to um, your system reporting, your solar production, your usage, and then seeing what your, uh, your ratios are. So Anyway, I hope that helped you. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if that helped you.